Yeah, I want to start by just recognizing the crowd. Um, I guess this is my, what, 14th season of Texas Tech basketball, and that's the best opening crowd I've seen. Um, you know, there, there won't be a better crowd in all of college basketball tonight, no matter where the game's played, than we just had here in Lubbock, Texas. So just a sincere thank you. Um, just uh, so happy for our guys to be able to go out there and, and see uh, Red Raider Nation show up in force. Special thank you to our students. Um, looks like I'll be going to a wedding here this summer. Um, TJ, would you like to go to the wedding with me? Yeah. Um, so, um, Steve, what's up? Good to see you, man. Um, just a, a great, a great crowd. I want to thank the students for coming out. I want to thank the season ticket holders um, for coming. There's probably some season ticket holders tonight that couldn't be here, but it was obvious to me that our loyal season ticket holders gave their tickets to people tonight because all those seats were filled by my by my eye. And it's a special thank you. So internally with our marketing and promotions and everybody that put work into this, um, to just everybody uh, at Texas Tech, thank you for a great um, opening crowd. Um, a lot of respect for our opponent tonight. Uh, I predict confidently they're going to have a great season. Uh, Jay's put together a good team with returners and junior college players. Um, I'm so f uh, proud of my junior college background that I always pull for teams that have junior college players, and I predict – uh, Eastern Illinois will have a great season, so best uh, wishes to those guys. Um, with that, we'll open it up for a couple questions for TJ here. Questions? TJ? Carlos, I'll start us off. Thanks, Carlos. TJ, I guess just early on, uh, what, what was it like just to be able to kind of start the game off just kind of quick uh, in terms of offensive rhythm for you and just to kind of get into the game early? Um, early, I think my first basket came off an assist, so it's all credit to my teammates. Um, Everyone's moving together in our offense, and that helped me score. Of what you guys were able to do offensively, you had four guys that scored in double figures. You had 10 of 11 that actually scored tonight. What what kind of worked for you all today that kind of got you got, got everybody open? Uh, I think the way we prepared, um, especially with our offense, uh, the way we all work together, like I said, it's, it's easy for us to get easy baskets sometimes. Ramsey and uh, TJ just early on in terms of the freshmen and kind of it didn't seem like they had too many butterflies there. Yeah, not just Ramsey and TJ, but all the freshmen. I thought they all did a good job and they all uh, helped us. Uh, they all contributed to helping us win. How big of a spark were they just during that run where you guys kind of closed out the second half? I believe it was about 14-9 where you kind of had a bucket in there. Avery had a three and TJ had a dunk there. Yeah, big spark, uh, as you guys can see. Um, uh, they are very important from the start to the beginning of the game. And uh, yeah, it's all credit to them. DJ, coach talked about the crowd tonight. What was that like for you, though, in your first game as a Red Raider to see this place completely packed? Uh, uh, it was more than I expected. And uh, it was really great to be able to play in front of a crowd like that again. Um, I think the crowd is the reason why um, you know we started off to a good start. Um, and I didn't think our guys got overwhelmed too much by it, but it was a really good crowd. TJ, these first couple of games outside of obviously picking up wins on the scoreboard, what are the big things that you guys want to accomplish as a team? Is it getting rust off, or is it something else? Uh, I guess it's uh, we're still a we're still a new team. This is our first college win together. Uh, we only got uh, three returners from last year, ten new guys. So we're still just trying to play together, um, getting to know each other, getting to feel. Uh, learning each other's strength, strengths and weaknesses, um, and then it'll come over time. Any other questions to you? Great job, guys. Uh, thanks, Coach. Good job, everybody. Good job, Norville. I don't know everybody else's names. I'm sorry. Good job, Wes. I like you Coach, for you, what was the single most impressive thing you saw from your team tonight in game one? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, was, I was impressed with the guys' preparation this week. Um, dialed in to have the emotion there at the start of the game. Big crowd, first Division One game for a lot of guys. And then you put on top of that the, the two banners and the videos and all this. And that's, that, that's hard to do. Um, but I thought our guys, there was a calmness to us early. It was uh, really impressive. 
Coach, you have a lot of young guys on the team. Do you do they do you think that they feel a sense of pressure based on how y'all performed last season? I don't think so. I mean, pressure is a blessing. Uh, pressure is why you play at this level, why you coach at this level, why you support a team at this level. Um, I, I don't think so at all. I think uh, these freshmen understand they have an opportunity. Um, there's no pressure on this team. I mean, three three returners, ten new players. Uh, we're a work in progress. We have our own expectations internally that are so much more than anybody could put on us. So I just keep talking to these guys about opportunity versus pressure, and I thought they did a great job tonight embracing that. Sometimes for freshmen, it's an adjustment to learn how to score at the college level. Jemias coming out and scoring right away. Is that kind of the version of Jemias that you, you saw uh, when you recruited him? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, one of the best things about Ramsey is how aggressive he is. Um, tonight, at, at points in the game when he was aggressive, he was he was really good. Um, be a great learning film for him tomorrow. Um, the great thing about Ramsey is he wants to be good. You know, he uh, um, we've got some young guys, him and that group, that, that study the game as much as any young players I've been around. So um, I'm happy for all those freshmen tonight. Guys, it's so hard to win a game at this level. You understand Eastern Illinois has been preparing for this since the summer, and um, a lot's gone into this. So. Um, you know, I just, I'm happy for those guys to get the, to get the first win together. Coach, in terms of just seeing your guys kind of go through challenges and adversity through the game where Eastern Illinois closed it to within two and you went on that big run, how big was it just to see the freshmen kind of step in there and kind of be a little bit more aggressive and kind of get to the basket, get, get some free throws for you? Yeah, well, we were prepared for a grind game. Um, we, in no imagination do we think we're going to come out and just control this thing. They're a good team. Uh, one of the oldest teams in college basketball. You guys saw them, all juniors and seniors and grad transfers. They have uh, all conference players on their roster and they recruited well. So, um, you know, early in the game, we kept talking about three, four minute games, win this possession. I thought in the first half, we played about as well as, as we could play at times. I did not like our, our finish. Those last two minutes of the first half are a critical time in, in any basketball game. And tonight, we did not finish the half off well. So that'll be uh, where we start tomorrow when we get back to work. In terms of the defense, what'd you like from them? Just kind of seeing the, the length and kind of the speed and kind of seeing the guys in transition tonight. You know, I thought we were aggressive. Um, I thought we did a good job at some points in the game playing without fouling. A common thing in this first game around the country uh, tonight in round two, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you'll see teams will get in the bonus so quickly. A lot of fouls early in the season. The officials are, um, you know, asked to do a job, especially early in the season. So I thought our guys did a good job at times getting some key stops without fouling. Obviously, things we need to work on. Rebounding was a concern tonight, so we'll have to we'll have to address that sooner than later. The videos and some of the, the past history, and you kind of want to get past it. So what was it like for you to kind of see the newcomers kind of step in, like a TJ, like a, a Terrence, and Jemias just kind of step in and kind of show that they can fill that void for you? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a new season. Um, every every season's different. Sometimes even if the same players come back, it's, it's a new season, so. Um, you know, I'll never get tired of of, um, of hearing about the past teams, um, but it's a new season. It, it really is, and I thought our guys tonight did a great job of embracing that. Um, and I, I, I give our uh, our older guys a lot of credit. This team was ready to play tonight against a team that we had a lot of respect for. This one for me, I guess uh, Tyreek. It looked like he hurt himself. I guess what, what's his status, Tyreek Smith? Yeah, he's out for um, I don't know what do they say in the NFL unknown or something. Um, I would think he's out for a couple of weeks minimum. Coach, you put in uh, Avery in that first half. He hit a three, uh, sparked a bit of a run. How much was uh, that a spark for you guys, that shot? Yeah, Avery's done a great job this offseason putting him in a position posi position where he can take the next step in his career. And uh, he's done so much for us these first two years. Now it's going to be more on the court. Now he's a guy we trust. Um, tonight the game opened up a little bit. We were able to get some young guys some minutes. but. Um, you know, Avery is somebody that's in our rotation right now. Uh, Coach, could you talk about your uh, defensive communication tonight, uh, and in particular, TJ Holyfield's role in that area? Yeah, I think first of all, with TJ, he played very aggressive tonight. You guys see uh, the things that that we uh, saw in him in the recruiting process. Thought there was a, a portion of the game in the second half where he was the best player on the floor. And uh, that's what you hope for with grad transfers. Not to put all the pressure on his shoulders, but he understands when he came to Texas Tech, he, he walked into a great opportunity. 
and there's some expectations for him tonight. So I was really proud of how aggressive he was. In terms of communication, that's always a challenge with a with a new team, young team. Um, tonight there was some uh, real times where we communicated well, and there were some other times where you know it looked like we needed to practice again tonight. So uh, we're a work in progress. Um, there's going to be highs. There's going to be some lows. Uh, we're just going to stay the course. Uh, but I do think we have we have the talent where we can have a good season if everything goes right. And uh, also, it looked to me like uh, early in the game, you were getting almost all of your buckets right in close, uh, trying to establish an inside game. And then a little bit later on, the three started dropping. Was that um, something you kind of came in looking to do, or did it just fall that way? Yeah, I think good offense, no matter how you play, fast, slow, outside, inside. Good offense understands inside out. And so uh, we spent a lot of time talking about paint touches, whether it be on penetration or post feeds. Um, but yeah, I thought we had a great balance tonight, getting the ball to the paint, and then that created opportunities for us on the perimeter. Um, but that, that's no secret. Inside out's a big part of college basketball. Thought our guys did a did a good job tonight. We can get better, but it was a good start. Coach, what has Terrence Shannon done that earned him a spot in the starting rotation or the starting uh, lineup tonight? Yeah, I think our lineup's kind of a work in progress. Um, you know, different. everybody's competing for time right now. Uh, how the guys perform in practice and how they perform in game minutes will dictate how our journey goes here over the next couple of weeks to months. Um, a lot of guys we have confidence in tonight. Every player on our roster tonight showed why he's worthy of, of an opportunity. Um, but, you know, eventually this, this rotation will get down, so guys are in competitive situations now. Um, with TJ, I mean, He's just a, he's a talented guy. And, um, you know, when that talent intersects with work and uh, desire and humbleness and film study, and he just, he wants to be really, really good. Um, so he's going to be fun to watch. You know, I'm, I'm happy for, I'm happy for me. I get to coach him. I'm happy for our fans to get to, to watch a, a young guy like this. He's going to be special.